home team has one of the league's best defenses, but Tom Brady is undefeated in dome stadiums, and Bill Belichick is dressed for success. What is that look? Oh, Patriots first drive, <laughs> Brady third and ten. Time is on his side, and so is Doug Gabriel. All by himself, 46-yard gain. Gabriel, great acquisition from the Raiders, five catches, 83 yards. Three plays later, the Pats went five wide, and the Vikings defense was wide-eyed. Brady to Benjamin Watson, 14 yards to the Vikings, six. Next play, Brady to Rache Caldwell. He's got reservations for six. Patriots go up 7-0, four-minute opening drive. Brady, six for six, 94 yards. The drive was only 86 yards because of a rushing loss. That's how good he was. Next Patriot possession, third and four. Oh, wait, Brady did make one mistake. This was it, intercepted by Darren Sharper. Vikings in good shape in their first Monday night home game in five years. Sharper in front of Watson, one-handed catch. Top play nominee, ensuing Vikings possession, third and goal. Brad Johnson trying to float it to Noel B. Moore, finds Rodney Harrison instead. Johnson threw three picks, would be benched late for Brooks Bollinger, called it one of the most embarrassing games he's been a part of. Second quarter, New England going to turn that turnover into points. Brady to Watson, the seam, 40-yard gain, part of an eight-play, 93-yard drive, resulting in a field goal, 10-0. Brady, 257 passing yards in the first half, most in a half by any quarterback this season. Brady to Caldwell there, wide receiver screen, 34 yards on a third and 12. And then just before half to Watson, nine-yard touchdown. Whatever holes we had in coverage, he found it, said Sharper of Brady afterwards. It was 17-0 and a half. Well, Patriots forced a punt in the third quarter, and Milwaukee Moore is going to find a hole in the Pats' punt coverage. Ronyell Whitaker with a big block. Remember, the Vikings with three wins this season when trailing at the half, it's 17-7, and we've got a ball game. Ensuing kickoff. There goes the ball game we thought we just had. Lawrence Maroney, remember 74-yard return last weekend against Buffalo? 77 yards here. Artos Pinner saves the touchdown. Maroney, collegiate star at Minnesota on this field. You know, the last time Brady played here, it was against the Golden Gophers in 1998. Brady Gold, three pass completions after the Maroney run. Touchdown to Troy Brown, 24-7. He threw touchdowns for Marsha Jan, Linda, and, excuse me, Cindy and Alice to the rookie Chad Jackson right there. Top play nominee, Brady, four touchdowns, four different receivers. Career high matches his career high. Four touchdowns for the first time since 2003 against the Bills. 31 to 7 is your final. Minnesota allows more than 20 points for the first time in their last eight games, dating back to last season. And the 24 point loss is the worst home loss for the Vikings since December of 2001. Blame it on Brady. He's with our Susie Culver. Tom Brady had a pretty good game, 372 yards, four touchdowns. What does it feel like for a quarterback when everything is clicking? Well, I think we had a good week of practice, and um, you know we were playing a great defense, and we were playing them on the road. And I think the plan was to come out and try to get the ball, put it in the air a little bit. And receivers made a lot of great plays. It was a lot of fun tonight, needless to say. What was most fun for you? Well, I think you know you come in, you got this great environment, and, and then you see the fans leaving midway through the fourth quarter, and you know that uh, we played better than we've been playing. So we got uh, one of the best teams in the league this week at home. We got to play. Probably the best we've played all year to beat them, the Colts. The Patriots have now won their last six regular season road games by an average of 19 points. That's information you may have been able to use prior to the kickoff. They haven't lost in a dome since 2000, Tom Brady's rookie year. Missed that.